As science communicator, Antje Boetius has received numerous awards. She is committed to how research results can be broadly disseminated to society. Finding the right language and striking the right note is a skill that has become key in modern science, and not only since the corona crisis. You have to manage to translate your results into a diction that is interesting for the people, no matter where they come from. Even more so if you're doing research on a hot topic like climate change, which is about risks and assessments, and where everyone wants to know, what can I do? This is where you have to make particularly sure that you come across well, because it's not just about the findings of research, but about their classification and assessment. Antje Boetius uses a variety of communication formats to present her research results on the effects of climate change. There, she is often confronted with questions about the responsibility of science for the future of society. When it comes to knowing what to do as a citizen today, that means, for example, how do I decide on certain things for the future of my children? You really need a lot of scientific knowledge, socio-economic and political knowledge as well. It is clearly part of the scientific mission to communicate its findings, to place knowledge in society and to answer the questions of citizens, of young people in particular. Unusual for most scientists, Antje Boetius is willing to break new ground in order to really reach people. She cooperates with artists like the actor David Bennant and is committed to theatre, music, film and the visual arts. It gives me a lot of pleasure to explore different ways of communication and to find new ways to deliver my insights. I found that I'm particularly good at communicating the personal experiences I have gathered in the regions I am exploring, the deep sea and the polar regions. Eyewitness accounts come across particularly well, so I tell people where I have been, and I try to explain figuratively and visually what I have seen. People receive that very well. Then they can connect the dots quicker and understand better than when I show endless series of data. For example, if you link the knowledge of today with a letter from Alexander von Humboldt, when he was a young man, with pictures or a poem by artists who wrote about it, what is human at heart, what do they need from nature and what do they see in nature, then you notice how people listen even better, because they understand that it is a fundamental human question and it affects them directly. We have the great task to not give up, but instead communicate our findings, to pass on knowledge and also to understand how people react to that. Antje Boetius is of the opinion that science has to be able to communicate clearly unpleasant discoveries, and that science communication about risk assessment and prevention is an important task, especially in current times. If we scientists simply put the facts out and report on our measurements and extrapolate them into the future, that is often already enough to be called alarmist, or we are scolded accused of creating panic instead of offering solutions and giving hope. But I have to say, it is not our task to comfort people and talk about how much hope we have. We must get as close as possible to the truth. Now, this is what needs to be done. On the one hand, coming to an agreement to achieve cohesion, to convey that, yes, we still hold our future in our hands, and on the other hand, to offer the major solutions which actually have to be put into practice by politicians.